Hi, my name is Mike Weaver, Leadership and Influence Coach, and welcome back to the Confidence Course, session number three. Glad you're with us, and today we're going to talk about social confidence, that confidence that comes when we enter situations where we don't know someone or a group of people and that we need to get to know them. The number one challenge I see facing every person is precisely this. Can I have confidence in the unknown of the unknown people around me. And that's what I wanna help you do, to gain a deeper confidence, to walk into a room, to know you have what it takes, and you can meet and talk to any person in that room, no matter what status or situation that person is in. But before we do that, let me ask you two questions. The first is, why is being socially confident important for you? And the second question is, if you were able to be socially confident and be more confident in social situations, what difference would that make to you? What would that allow you to do? Think about those two questions and reflect on them just for a moment and assign some meaning to this, to this and some context to this conversation because as you do so, you'll grow even more confident. Look, social confidence is something we all struggle with as human beings at one point or another. All of us are insecure at different times in our lives socially. The question is, can he become even more confident in that? You can. Look, I've been a pastor for nearly 20 years. There are so many times I've had to enter situations where I don't know that person or that group of people, and I had to enter that moment with confidence, social confidence from deep in my gut to say, hello, my name is, and then enter a conversation with that person or that group of people. And I want to help you do just that because I've learned a lot over these years. I've learned a lot as I've studied influence and confidence that will help you do just that because when you become more socially confident, you become more successful, your relationships get better, and you become more relatable to other people around you, and you'll become more of a leader. So here's how you become more socially confident. First and foremost, go back to the first video we, we talked about, that is have presence. To breathe, put confidence in your body, and be. Breathe, body, be. Take a deep breath. Relax. Let the oxygen fill your lungs and fill your brain. Your body's gonna thank you. Let yourself be grounded. Take a deep breath, or two, or three. Put confidence in your body. Put the confidence in your neck, in your eyeballs, in your cheekbones, in your voice, in your hands. If you were fully confident, how would it feel in your shoulders? What does confidence feel like in your body, in your skin? And then B, simply live it. Be confident. Breathe, body, and enter that room as yourself, your most confident self. Self, B. Be confident. The second thing is, be first. Be the first person to put out your hand and say, hi, my name is. Don't wait for somebody to come to you. Be confident. Walk up to that person. You be first. Say hello first. Put a smile on your face. Number three is, don't run and hide with people you already know. Now, you can always check in with those people if, you, if those people are in the room, but just don't hang around them because you're scared. Instead, take a risk and move into the unknown, trusting that you have what it takes with confidence in your body, in your brain, in your eyes, in your neck, in every part of your body to say, hello, my name is. Fourth thing to do is listen. Listen to what the person has to say. Let them shine. And here's the fifth thing that's related to listening. Be committed to making the other person look good. Because here's what I know. When we walk into situations where we feel our, we are feeling insecure, we don't feel confident, we, we get self-protective, and we want to talk about ourselves, and we think that if we talk about ourselves and we l try to look great, then we'll be more confident and people will see us as confident. And that's just not true. We start to look self-centered and arrogant. The reality is people with confidence don't worry about themselves. They worry about what the other person thinks. Listen to them. 
Make them look good because they're not a threat to you. But instead, as you draw them out, you make them shine. Guess what? You shine too. And you look good too. And you're sharing your confidence with them. That self-confidence that says, I'm okay. I want to know about you. Tell me about yourself. That's how to be more self-confident today. Thank you so much for watching this training and I hope it's been a benefit to you. I know I've had fun sharing this with you and if it has been a benefit, will you share this with your friends and family? Because as we grow more in our confidence, as people around us grow in their confidence, this world becomes a better place, becomes more attractive and people make a bigger impact because they're more confident in their skin. Thank you so much for doing so. And watch out for an email from me in the next three or four days for an opportunity for you to enroll in a program to help you gain even greater confidence by digging deeply into your unique confidence. And more information will be in the email coming to you in the next two or three days from me. Well, until we talk again, my friend, may you be blessed to be a blessing today.